Hey guys, welcome back to the Half Big channel. My name is Alexa and today's video is another DIY video. It is this DIY mesh jersey. Yay! So there's not much to it if you guys want to learn how to make this jersey, keep watching. There will also be a subscriber giveaway at the end of this video. If you want to know how to enter into the giveaway, keep watching till the end. For this tutorial, you will need tracing paper, a t-shirt, a ruler, measuring tape, scissors, two pieces of scrap paper, fabric pen or chalk, a regular pen, pins, about half a yard of faux leather, heavy black material, and wide open mesh. First you want to fold your t-shirt in half, fold in the sleeves, and bring it to the edge of the paper. Go ahead and trace around your t-shirt for your body. With your marker and ruler, smooth out the lines. I took in a little bit from the shoulder to make it a little smaller and I also added one inch to the width. And then afterwards, you'll see that I added about five inches to the length to make it more of like a dress jersey. Add a one inch seam allowance to the bottom and a half inch seam allowance everywhere else. Once you're done, you can cut out your pattern. Fold your mesh fabric twice to get four layers. The edge of the pattern will be your center front or center back. Place your center back on the fold and cut. At the end, you should have two full bodies. Fold one of the body pieces in half and cut two to three inches from the neck. This will now be your front piece. Place the front piece on the back piece and do a straight stitch on the shoulder and side seam. So to keep the raw edges from poking me, I turned it inside out, pushed the raw seam allowance on one end and did a top stitch over it. For the bottom hem, fold up one inch and do a straight stitch all the way around. Now to add rib to the armhole and the neck, walk the tape around the armhole to get the full armhole measurement. Times that by two and repeat for the neck. I just guessed the drop for the front piece because I didn't make a front piece pattern. Cut two inch strips with your measurements. You should have one neck strip and two arm strips. Fold your strips in half and do a straight stitch down the edge. Once you're done sewing, you should have one big tube. Fold that in half with the wrong sides kissing to get a one inch rib. Pin the rib to the neck area with both edges facing up. Repeat the same process for the armholes. I took the measuring tape to see how big I wanted the letters to make sure I didn't overdraw them. For the letters, I made them an inch and a half, but you can also print these out as well on your computer. Place the stencils on the back of your jersey until you're happy with the placement. I chose pleather that was a little bit more on the heavier side, that way it can keep its structure. And then from there, I just traced on the back of the material with a regular pen and cut them out. After you're done, you can place your pleather cut out pieces and pin where you want them to be sewn. If you've watched my DIY bomber jacket, I use the same technique with the tracing paper when sewing down the letter pieces. Here is the finished jersey. So I think for the next time I make this jersey, I'm gonna pick a thicker, sturdier black material. That way it doesn't flip up at the armholes. So 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video of this DIY mesh jersey. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to do so down below if you guys want to see more videos. And feel free to follow us on Instagram and or Twitter. So for the giveaway, first of all, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. We are very grateful and so appreciative of you guys. Let me show you guys what we have for the giveaway. So for my personal line, because I like to um, give away things for my line, it is going to be this bralette. Uh, this is called the Talia bralette. And of course the winner will be giving me their sizes, so I won't be giving you guys a small when you're actually large or something. And also from Lux and Lexi is this clear quartz choker, which is one size, so yeah. Uh, last piece from Lux and Lexi is this Jordan Bomber. It's a little hot in our area, so you might want to save it for the winter time or like cold days, but it's a marble print bomber jacket. I got this Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I got it because I like to give you guys things that I personally like and Tiara recommended this beauty blender for me and I really like it so I got you guys one too. I'm also going to be adding a healing stone in there. I think it would just be a great little gift from us half baked to you because we all love healing stones here i have four different stones for you guys to choose from i have a tiger's eye and amethyst uh basic clear quartz or a soda light so so the winner will be able to choose which one they want and yeah, I'm so excited for these, especially. So I did mention Skyflex store in one of our favorites videos, and they were so kind enough to add some things in our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So from Skyflex, you guys will be, not you guys, one person, sorry. So the winner will be receiving a Polaroid hanging kit. So it's really good if you guys have a Polaroid camera. It's super cute. It um, hangs on your wall. You will also be receiving a Boba Is Life t-shirt from them and some bath bombs. So for the rules to enter into this giveaway, I will be adding them down below in the description box. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you guys want to learn how to enter. So that concludes everything. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!